recently inaugurated Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte expressing regret for his comments at a fiery press conference, in which he called President Obama a son of a bitch or son of a whore, depending on how you translate the Tagalog, and threatened to swear at him in a planned bilateral meeting. The White House canceled the meeting shortly after Duterte's comments. We regret the remarks came across as a personal attack on the U.S. President. Duterte's office said in a statement issued Tuesday, the U.S. has been critical of Duterte's human rights record in his scant two months as president. At issue are the estimated 2,400 killings conducted by police and vigilantes since Duterte was inaugurated June 30. He ran on a pledge to rid the Philippines of drug trafficking. And once he took office began a campaign in which thousands were rounded up and killed without due process. Some of the victims were tangentially related to the drug trade or just at the wrong place at the wrong time, including a five-year-old killed in the roundups. This has raised wide international alarm, of course. The White House said President Obama would be raising the extrajudicial killings with Duterte at their planned meeting. But Duterte reacted strongly, saying, You must be respectful. Do not just throw away questions and statements. Son of a whore, I will curse you in that forum. That insult, in Tagalog, is a favorite of Duterte's. He's used it against Pope Francis after a visit by Pope Francis caused traffic tie-ups in the Philippines. He's also given the title to the U.S. ambassador in Manila, whom Duterte also called gay. And U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon is also part of the Son of a Bitch Club. After Ban said the drug killings were illegal and a breach of fundamental rights and freedoms, Duterte is scrambling to smooth things over with a U.S., a longtime ally. I do not want to quarrel with him. He's the most powerful president of any country on the planet, Duterte said, after arriving in Vientiane, Laos, for his summit of Southeast Asian nations, in which Obama is also taking part. For his part, Obama called Duterte a colorful guy.